All right, hey everyone, WanderBots here, and welcome to Floppy Nights. The demo, of course. I'm still very much in, in Demothon Indie Game Lightning Round territory. Uh, and you're going to hear this at least one more time sometime in the future when this game comes out. Uh, but so I, This is the VIP version. It is, so I have a little bit extra. So, uh, <laughs> this video, unfortunately, I think will be going out after the... Uh, Steam Festival ends, but maybe the demo will stick around anyway. I'll have a link to the uh, the store page for Floppy Nights no matter what. But for those of you watching live at least, you can go download the demo now, play this, and you'll have pretty much everything that I've got access to, but I get a couple extra levels. Uh, there are a couple of bugs that I will have to keep an eye out for, uh, but I think I remember what they are. Anyway, uh, so I, I covered this a couple months ago and did like chapter one, it was really fun, and they asked me to play more. And I said yes because I love this game. Can't wait for it to actually be fully released. And yes, of course it looks like Dicey Dungeons is made by the same people. With the exception of Terry, Terry Kavanaugh who's not involved. Oh, the art's so cute. It's so cute. I like the texture that they have in all the Yeah, it's very, um, cut paper-ish, kind of. Hmm. Phoebe, is it complete yet? Just a sec, Carlton. Robotics of this level takes some time. I have waited an entire week. It only took you a month to make me. Implementing an upgrade for me should only take 30 minutes, maximum. 30 minutes? Are your math processors broken? Relax, almost there. Just a few more screws and then... Knock. That must be your parents. I bet they want to know what is taking so long to. Oh, jeez. Phoebe, your mother and I wanted to talk. About how I need to get a job and move out. I know. You've told me like a million times. It's just that you've been shut up here, tinkering away with all this stuff for so long. We're worried about you, honey. You need to get out of here and enjoy life. Take on some responsibility. Get a job. It'll be great for you. You might even make a few friends. I have friends, Mom. I have Carlton. Yes, but honey, you built Carlton. No offense, dear. None taken. Now listen, I'm working on this thing. It'll help Carlton and me make some quick cash so I won't have to get some boring job. You know, having responsibilities and people that depend on you isn't such a bad thing. But this is the... This is the quintessential thing about ch children trying to pursue their dreams and parents going, be practical. Get a boring Get a job. job. Make a living. Pay rent. Taxes. <laughs> be like me, sad in your own job until you retire, and then you're bored out of your mind because you never learned how to do anything for yourselves. So when I say get a real job, I really mean be miserable just like me. At the same time, is the mother a an, an engineer or something? Oh, uh, she talks about it a little bit more if we keep going. Okay, looks like she has a worker's apron. Yep. And there's a lot of tools around here. All right. Look at me. I do all the smithing for all of Toggle Town. Ah, so smith, I see. And everyone loves her for it. We're always inundated with thank you cakes. We had to get a second fridge. Phoebe, we're really proud of how talented you are with all this technology stuff. But if this plan of yours doesn't work... You'll have to work as a blacksmith with your mother. Well, at least until you find something more stable. Fine. This'll work, though. Just give me a couple more days. All right. A couple days. We'll leave you to it, honey. Now that that's over with, ready to see your new upgrade, Carlton? Affirmative. Is that a floppy disk? Yep, I installed a new drive for you to read these now. Wow, that's amazing! What's this floppy disk do? You're about to find out. I put a very special program on this one. I wonder how many people at Rose City Games had the get a real job spiel from their parents. Pretty much anyone in a creative field. Because, yeah, they're all indie game developers, obviously. I Maybe the programmers... Maybe people thought, oh yeah, programming is lucrative, that's fine, but probably art and animation and stuff. Yeah. Because, like, we definitely went through it for d various reasons. Me, I, I had to go through it twice. Once as an artist and once as a YouTuber. <laughs> Ooh! 
Can we test it out? All right. Amazing. Look at that little guy. I call them floppy knights. They're projections, but they're tangible. They can touch things, grab stuff, and in this one's case, kick my tools. Ha <laughs> ha! He is such a rascal. This is truly impressive, Phoebe. Thanks. And the best part is, they'll do whatever we want. Aside from the fact that he's kicking tools right now, unless she's making him do that. <laughs> I've made a bunch of them, and I was thinking that they could help us take on the odd jobs in the towns on the top. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Can I repeat that? Sure. All right. I've made a bunch of them, and I was thinking that they could help us take on the odd jobs on, on the town's job board. Yeah, the odd jobs on the job. Isn't it like a tongue twister at yeah, the end? Yeah, it, it's at least tongue twister adjacent. Hot jobs on the town's job board. I, I just want to call attention to her <laughs> hot dog poster in the background that's just hungry. Hungry dog. And a hot dog. Now, I just... So she has Carlton as an arm? Yeah, she looks like she has a robot arm and potentially a robot leg. Oh, on the other side, you're right. Yeah. Oh, Which I, I have no idea if she's just wearing a robotic shell or if she's a double amputee with cyborg replacements. It'd be interesting if they actually develop that later, but... I hope so. We'll see. It is a fantasy world with, like, goblins and stuff, so there's a very real possibility she was actually injured. Mm -hmm. We show up, get the floppy knights to do the heavy lifting... And then we get paid! Exactly. We'll barely have to lift a finger. You completed this just in time for the science fair, too. Uh-huh. I've got my eye on that first place cash prize in the gadget cup. Okay. Embarrassing admission? Yeah? I just realized she has ridiculous, like, communist sunglasses on. Yeah, I don't they... know why, but, like, I've seen this constantly. I've played this game before. I did this exact cutscene a couple of nights ago before realizing that I should just grab you for it. And I never realized she had glasses on. I just totally blanked on it. I think it's because her eyes aren't obscured. They, like, there's no opacity over her actual eyeballs, mm -hmm. and so it just throws me off. But I just looked at it and had to do a double take because I just completely missed that character detail like a donk. <laughs> that is the tournament they hold at the fair every year, correct? Right, and this year I'm finally old enough to compete. While we're waiting for the fair, let's take these floppy nights for a spin. I'll show you the ropes, Carlton. I am ready whenever you are. All right, let's go over the basics, Carlton. Loading training simulation. You don't need to say loading training simulation for it to work, you know. Correct. However, it is important to have fun while you work. <laughs> Fair point. Battle start. Okay. So I'm going to have us fight against this succulent kicker for practice. That small, impassioned, leafy guy over there? Yep. We're going to fight him with another floppy knight I made. This is your commander. They're a very special unit. Unlike other units, if their health reaches zero, we lose. These are the unit's abilities. They're activated after you play them. Add thorns, in this one's case, Captain Thistle. When you play a unit, a new special card is generated right into your hand. Captain Thistle adds a rare thorn card. Or add thorns uh, cards. These are the unit stats. Total health, strength, and speed. Select the commander now. When you select a card, it moves here and is ready to be played. Units can be placed anywhere in the deployment zone, but for now, let's put them here. Well, sweet! Now we have our now that we have our commander on the map, let's do something with him. Each turn, we draw five cards from our deck that we can play by spending energy. We've drawn these five cards for the turn, and also have the Thorns card that Captain Thistle generated. But we have limited energy every turn, right? Yep. We can see how much energy we, that each card costs here. Anything we don't play goes into our discard when we end our turn. But 
don't worry. They get shuffled back into your deck when you run out of cards. Let's play a move card on the Captain Thistle and move them into range to attack that Succulent Kicker. Each unit can move a number of tiles. Okay, all right. We're in range to attack now. Each unit gets one attack per turn. If you see the little sword icon on your unit, you know that they're ready to attack. Click on the unit to activate their attack and then select the target. Once the attack is activated, it shows up here. Now select the target you want to attack. I love the bloopy eyes. <laughs> Defeat all enemies and... Ah, there we go. We did it! Phoebe, that was incredible! We're so powerful! Everything worked perfectly. We should try this out in a real gig. I estimate we're ready to take on a job and make some sick cash. Do you, do you notice that Carlton actually seems to be controlling that arm yeah. independent of her? Yeah. I think he is the arm. Yeah, I, I, I think he is the full arm. I love it when you use human phrases, Carlton. Let's go. Okay. So, uh, how many chapters? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At least Ooh. seven. Probably just seven. Can I can can I just look at this? So there's their house. There's yep. more of like the rest of the village or a farm. Yeah. There's what? What is that? A it, volcano town. Volcano town. A mountain. A forest. This looks like a, a magical academy or like a city or something. Because there's like a there's an observatory. observatory. Spooky forest. But wait, but that looks like. Wait, no, maybe that's a cannon, but look at that. That looks like the observatory. This observator. looks magic. This looks tech. Yeah, and then over there is a... S super tech, alien, science. evil base. Yeah, scientific city. This is where she goes mad with power and is, in fact, starting to conquer the world. <laughs> I would I would unironically love that if this just ends with her going full Robotnik. <laughs> like, I want more stories where you're the bad guy, but you're, like, an endearing one. I love this. This is cute. All right. Ah. Bandits. Off. Oh. And they're stealing all the turnips. Or radishes. Whichever one. We're here. The job board said to, to meet at this farm on the outskirts of town. I wonder who our client is. Ooh, it all sounds so official. Client. Job. Look at us, Phoebe. Soon we will no longer be an unnecessary burden on your parents. Oh, jeez, Carlton. We really need to work out on your bedside manner. Look, someone is approaching. Oh. Can I help you? Oh, uh, hey. Are you the one who posted the job? Yup, you must be Phoebe. I thought you said there'd be two of you. There are two of us. This is Carlton. He's my artificially intelligent arm. Greetings! Yeah, that's great. Uh, uh, right, uh, what seems to be the problem? It says there on the job posting that you are, uh, terrorized by vegetarian goblins? Listen, kid, I try to keep a tight farm, but those forest goblins are snatching up all my hard work. I can't turn my back for a second without them stealing my crops. So, what do you want us to do? Perhaps we could grow you some more carrots. That sounds like a lot of work. Just keep watch and keep them away from my crops. I love keeping watch. I do not need to blink, so I'm very proficient at it. Okay, lady. I'm gonna need some kind of down payment up front. Here. Uh, seeds? I, I mean, I meant cash. What am I supposed to do with these? You could make a lot of money planting those. Now go take care of my goblin problem. Ah, uh, fine. But you'd better leave a good tip when we're done here. Carlson, we'll post up over there by the- Target sighted! What? What? The goblins! They're right over there! Gosh, I am so good at keeping watch! <laughs> Check it out, fellas! I don't know what kind of magic this lady's using to make food come out of the ground, but I'm just loving it! Let's fill the bags up! Have those little punks! What are you waiting for? Go get them! Why does that one goblin look like they're melting? Uh, he, I think he's gooey. 
<laughs> to win this battle, defeat all the enemies. I think we can straight up see its name. We just have to... Oh. Uh, okay. Time for our first real battle. Let's check out the field. The number in the corner here tells you the enemy's health. If it hits zero, then they're defeated. We can also... Can you get your cursor out of the way? Sorry. We can also click on the enemy to see their movement and attack range. Or right-click just to see more information. Some terrain will give our units a bonus. These forests will give us our units extra fence against an attack. These mountains have no bonus and most units can't enter them at all. Don't forget, we can always revisit this information by hovering over any terrain element. All right, that's everything for now. Let's give it our best shot. Slobby Gobby. Gobby. Okay, defeat all enemies, don't lose any units. Can you bring out the succulent kicker as well? I can. But I'm gonna go hyper aggro. Because I can attack multiple times as long as I've got a card that well, allows you, for it. Why don't you give yourself... Oh. It's a shame that you didn't have the thorns. So there's a very specific reason why I don't want to do that immediately. Mainly I didn't have enough energy. Mm-hmm. I really like the succulent pot. It looks so cute. It is a cutie. Baby's turn to... Restore, grow, and move. Okay. This one's dicey. Oh, improving something? Yeah, so I can I can upgrade all of our pre-existing cards. Really wish I remembered. It looks like you can version. upgrade a unit. Yeah, so if I upgrade a unit, I can upgrade him, so we get more attack. Uh one more attack. Upgrade more health. Her, so she gets more health and payback, so any enemy that hits. Or we upgrade a card. That would just well, restore more HP. Yeah. Well, and it doesn't go away. Oh. How many cards do you have in a deck? Uh, About 12, give or take. Only 12? Wow. So, so you I, get bonuses for standing in forests. I get to... Wait, what? I, maybe he can't attack the turn? Or is it because you're in the forest? That's defensive. No, forest... There we go. Ah. It just wasn't letting me select him. Yeah, because he's in the forest, he takes one less damage. Now the Slobby Gobby... That has a lot of HP. Yep. You could okay. attack there without moving? Or was that the... So, you get to attack for free once per turn. Ah. Okay. Okay. Upgrade. I suppose it was the succulent plant that did it then. There. Sorry that. I guys do like games that are combinations of cards and I movement. I love it. Deck builders are my jam. I know a lot of people like to uh, be like, uh, more deck builders, but every single one of them, like the good ones, they all introduce something new. Because I really enjoyed when we were playing Faria and how there was the board as well. Just yeah. having boards and units to move. It, it adds another layer of complexity. Mm -hmm. And the only problem is it does uh, make everything take even longer. Ah, true. But the battles for this are pretty short. The enemies don't have a whole lot of HP. And uh, later yeah. on, we get the ability to do some really busted things that just make it so much easier. Poison attacks sound fun. Like I said, there are some really busted things later on that make everything a lot easier. 
Yeah, deck builders as a genre have pretty much unlimited potential. It is absolutely only shackled by the developer's creativity. So, like, the more interesting cards you come up with, the more interesting the game is going to be. I think this one ends up being a little bit more on the, like... I'm not going to say simple side of things, but on the, uh, the tight and focused. And I think that actually is a strength here. I will have to ask, though. Are most of her cards going to be plant-based? No, there are multiple de deck types. I think there's three or four. Uh, oh, okay. We The VIP build has access to the monster deck. Oh, okay. Because currently all her... Like the thistle, the succulent, and yeah. the spittoonia are I all I think plants. chapter one is going to be plant-related, but mm -hmm. we get other cards later. Ah, leave us alone, you stinky losers. What are you calling a loser? Hey, you little twerps. Cut it out. Those are mine. Uh oh the la angry lady is here. Uh, hurry up. Grab as much as you can and scram. Don't just stand there. Chase after them. Hey, pretty sure that's out of our scope of work. Yeah, it's invoicing time, lady. But as if you didn't scare them at all. They're going to be back as soon as you leave. Man, I thought this was going to be easy. I'm paying you to get the root to the root of this problem. Is that some vegetable humor? <laughs> nice. Go. Jeez, okay, we're going. That lady sucks. Bandits. We got a card from that last battle. We can look at those here. I wonder if she's supposed to be a, a blue orc? Yeah. Or what do you think? I don't know. Add cards to our deck here. Also remove cards from the deck and store them in the backpack for later. Cards with lock icon can't be removed. Add this petunia to the deck. Creating a stun strong deck is critical for success. Mm-hmm. Okay, so move and reap is interesting because it alternates between moving and attacking as long as you have enough energy. Oh, that's interesting. Plant stack and you have 12 of 30. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So you can have up to 30 cards. Yep. I believe you can also have multiple champions. Uh, but though I think you can only have one champion per deck. Well, the other thing too is the ch if the champion is destroyed, then you lose automatically. Correct. So, it They're... borrows elements from Fire Emblem specifically with that one. Well, or if you think about it, even chess. True. Because you have the king, and the king can't be checked or taken. Well, technically, they can't be taken, but the check is mm -hmm. a precursor to being taken. So, is this by the same people that did Dicey Dungeons? Yes. So, same artist, not same studio. Actually, it's same artist, same studio. Uh, Terry Kavanaugh gets a lot of credit for Dicey Dungeons, but Rose City Games actually helped with the development of Dicey Dungeons uh, to not a small degree. And so, uh, really the only factor between this and Dicey Dungeons is Terry Kavanaugh is not involved. Do and you have to keep repeating okay. that information? Uh, people are going to keep asking, and I will keep repeating. <laughs> Oh, woof, man, they got little legs, but they can sure run fast. It's too bad you don't have super strong robotic legs. Carlton, we've been over this. I'm not going full bionic woman, just the arm is enough. So oh, maybe so her legs are fine, she just has uneven boots. Maybe she has a, an odd boot, yeah. But I am so strong, being a robot is so cool. Good grief. Ha, good grief, humans say the weirdest things. Phoebe, look. They're using a communication machine. Do you think there are other goblins they're allied with? Are you saying there are more of them somewhere? Good grief! Let's get some answers from these twerps. I want to deal with this and get paid as quickly as possible. To win this battle, destroy the goblin satellite. Sometimes we can win a battle by completing other objectives. You mean we don't have to defeat every enemy? Nope. We can check our objectives at any time using this menu. Well, selecting this particular menu. Phoebe, watch out for that enemy spawner. Enemies will spawn from spawn points at the end of their turn. So, can you destroy spawners? Nope. Oh, not spawners. I might be able to block them. Hmm. But I can't destroy them. So if I take a look at this, destroy the satellite, win in five or less turns. Close. Okay. No. I don't know about winning in five turns. Maybe. Also, you can cross water. 
Also, getting the Spatunia out is good. Ranged attacks. Okay. How much range does it have? A couple squares? Uh, I don't remember. You're just going to have him destroy that immediately? Yep. Don't worry. Because the succulent gives me a kick card, which lets me hit it again. And that's the end. Yep, that's the end of the what? battle. What? <laughs> it's so good. In your so first good. turn? For goodness sake. Yeah. Barrel cactus and rehydrate. Yep, so barrel cactus hits everything at random and adds, I think, a healing move and rehydrate increases their speed, but only if they're on a water tile. I repeat, the losers are here. We're retreating to the river. Where do you think you're going? I'm looking at them right now. They look stinky and mean. Be advised to take caution should you see them. Goblins, fall back. We are not stinky or mean. We are nice and cute. Uh, now they've made it personal. Come on, Carlton. We're going to finish this job no matter what. Let's stop these veggie thieves and get our money. And a sincere apology, verbally and in writing. Way ahead of you. The shop is open. We should check it out. Welcome. I got cards. You got big coin. Let's make a deal. All right. So we can get thorns. We can get an alchemy shop. Does this mean that these cards are created with alchemy? Uh, yeah. He throws money into his wallet and then hands me a card. Alchemy. Equivalent exchange. Mm. <laughs> well, I guess I'm buying a succulent kicker. All that to your backpack. Notice how there are move or attack cards. Yeah, which are great, but I, I want to be able to edit my deck first if mm -hmm. I can. Uh, namely, if I could replace all of my move cards with move or attack, oh, I'd be a happy camper. Oh. Oh, but right now a number of things are locked. Yeah. I think it's hilarious that for this queen, that I was about to say queen, for the screen, I can't tell if they are scaled down versions of their images or if they actually hand drew mini versions. I think they're scaled down versions. Really? Okay. I think so. Click on them. No, you're right. I think they're I think they're hand drawn mini versions. See? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, chances are what they do is they scale them down and then simplify it. Or, this was the original sketch, and then they scale it up. Oh, that could be it. You know, these might have been the original designs, and they just reused yeah, them. Yeah, because look at the Thorn King. Yeah, Captain Thistle. Yeah, look, see how the eyes are a little bit different? Yeah. And the little arm hair or prickles? I don't know. I, we could probably ask. No, I, I really think that they are separate illustrations done in miniature. 